Now, once you've got the right mentor, then it all comes down to, can you be a great mentee? Can you truly be an awesome mentee? And I have to tell you, I've been a mentor and I've been a mentee. In fact, I've had mentors in my life since I was a little kid. And I know what it's like to be a mentee and to be a good mentee. And really, it goes a little bit like this. The mentor's job is to give you wisdom. The mentor often has experiences, they've got failures, they've got uh, just life's lessons that they pass on to you. And so they've got this wisdom. And then your job as a mentee is to then be their best student. And by being their best student, it means you've got to collect that wisdom. And you take that wisdom and then you got to do something with it. You've got to implement it. One of my mentors was Kevin Harrington. He wrote a book, Act Now. What a great advice for any mentee. Take whatever wisdom you get from your mentor and act on it right away. Even if you don't understand it, even if you don't know what they're talking about, but you can follow the instructions, do it. Because sometimes we learn more in failure than we learn in success. And so sometimes our mentors want us to experience some failure so that they can help us understand and learn from that failure. So they've got the wisdom, you then become their best student, and then the third thing you have to do is you've got to pass it along. You've got to teach other people. And to give you a real life analogy, I'm sitting in front of a brick wall right here. So this wall, it's real, it's not a background, that's a brick wall. And that brick wall really represents everything I just talked about in being a great mentee. You see, it's the mentor's job to give you these bricks. That's their job. They've got the bricks of wisdom, the bricks of failure, the bricks of success, and they give them to you and you collect them. Now, I have to tell you, a brick wall, even a stack of bricks without this concrete mortar in there, anyone can knock that down. So if you just collect it, if you don't do anything with it, then it's kind of worthless. In fact, it's, it's, it's worse than worthless. It just takes up space. So where do you get that concrete? Where do you get that mortar that holds it together? That's by taking everything you've learned from your mentor and teaching it to other people. When you teach other people what you've learned from your mentor, that's what locks it in. That's what turns it into a brick wall. And a brick wall you can build things on. You can build a house. You can build a business. You can build a family. You can build a life. So. Remember, when you are looking for the right mentor and you become a mentee, just remember this brick analogy, that it's their job to give you the bricks, it's your job to collect as many of those bricks as you can, but then how you lock it all in is by giving those bricks and passing them along to other people.